Hello folks, welcome to Simple Gaming. I would like to apologize for not giving any kind of responses to any replies and not just generally uploading anything. Uh, Mine had died and I was just trying to repair it, so, you know, I, well, yeah, anyway, you don't want to hear that. Let's just move on and we'll get, we'll just, you know, we'll pretend like nothing happened and I'm sorry and it won't happen again. It probably will happen again. Anyway. Today I'm going to show you guys quite a big tutorial in the sense of this is what will be your game changer when it comes to having a Gmod server. What we're going to do is we're going to install the Dark RP modification add-on and we're going to play with some of the end like some of the, the scripts. So in this I'll be showing you how to make custom jobs, how to make custom entities and do all this, 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 all the shipments and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so by now you should already have your Gmod server technically up and running. Um, as you can see, we haven't got any add-ons other than the ULX stuff, um, but we still have our Dark RP game mode all there. Okay, so when I said about um, changing the, the files for Gmod, what you used to be able to do is you used to go Game Modes, Dark RP, and uh, you used to play with the config files in here. So this would be all your all your stuff. However, as the text file says, please do not touch these files. The reason why it says this is because when you actually update Dark RP, um, for all you know, there could be a tiny little bit of code that could change um, in the actual core of the game mode itself, and that could mess up the entirety of everything you've worked on. So they gave you a little failsafe by giving you an add-on, which you can f edit all the files of our Dark RP through an add-on, which is really cool and it's quite safe so we're going to download that now so right, what we're going to do is you head to your web browser and you're going to type in dark R maybe dark rp modification okay and that should take you to a github page which we're going to go to i don't understand why my internet is being so slow today it's horrible okay download the zip file going to open up and put our dark rp modification master in our add-ons and that's it we have now installed dark rp modification i just like to get rid of the master bit because it pisses me off right so if you go into this lua uh this will literally have all of your dark rp settings so all your um all your disabled de the defaults your settings for the actual game mode itself so this is going to be all your stuff like um just every little, all the tiny things. Uh, the program I'm using to edit this is Notepad++. I'll leave a note, uh, link in the description, but it is a lot better than using Notepad. Um, but yeah, this is all your stuff. So here we have your custom jobs, your custom spawns, uh, show your name, just little tiny bits, how, how fast you can run, for instance, how much a door costs. So basically, when you're starting up your Dark RP server, you want to go into this uh, settings bit and just literally make it your own. So, say for instance, if I wanted to, uh, I wanted to give people like 15 grand when they join up the server. Okay, so where is it? You'll basically look in here somewhere, which I, I can't find it. Ah, set starting salary, no. Where is it? Alright, well, it's in here somewhere. Okay. Wow, that's just terrible. Yeah, well, there, there you go. Starting money, right? So you wallet when you join for the first time. Luckily, every little part on here has this uh, little description. So if I want to make it 15,000, you just basically. There. Simple. And then save, and then that will pop up now. When we start up, I'll show you guys that I've got 15,000 when I join up. So anyway, what we're going to do is start up our server. Now that we have the add-on, we can start the server. Because if you try and add an add-on to, uh, to the server whilst it's running, it won't pick it up, obviously. <sighs> so right, let's have a quick test of it. 
<coughs> Dear me. Okay. Here we are in our really horribly textured, uh... Oh, really horribly textured downtown. Okay, now I've just realized that my wallet is at set at $200, and the reason being is because obviously we've already connected to the server before, but regardless, trust me, it will put your wallet to uh, however you set it. Okay, then, so now we're going to. Shut up, phone. Okay, now we're going to. Um, play with the uh, settings. Okay, so you start again. Uh, if it seems a little bit jumpy, it's because I just tried to do it then, and it just, I, I just messed up. I, I did a really bad one. So basically, press F4, and these are all the ones that are built into Dark RP. Um, so this includes all the shipments, ammo, weapons, anything like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a custom job. We want to add a job for a thief. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to tab out of Gary's mod. <laughs> we're going to head to uh, Gary's mod, add-ons, dark happy modification, lure, custom things, and jobs. Okay, now what will be here is literally nothing. So this is where we're going to put all of our custom jobs. So we're going to head to uh, our web browser and type in dark RP class maker. Now there used to be another site who did this, but um, we're going to use a good friend of mine, the Coding Beast. Just accept cookies because I'm nice like that. Okay, now this place, now this is this is. Be fair, this is the first time I'm using um, the Coding Beast's website. I used to use Dead Eyes, but it seems there's a lot of stuff here which would be helpful for you guys. So you could like make your own shipments here, you can make your own food, entities, ammo, and all this kind of stuff. But I'm just gonna be showing you how to do how I do it as well. Okay, so let's use the job generator. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep this team bit. Like team thief. Name of the job will be thief. The colour, head to the colour picker, or if you know um the RGBAs do it there but we're gonna have the color be um, make them purple okay I'm just gonna there we go copy and paste that number at the top actually wait that's a bad idea huh all right, that's a bit odd. Okay, so I'm going to take this away. And we're going to use these numbers by here. That's really weird. <laughs> okay, all yeah, right, yeah, okay. So we're going to use these three numbers by here. So, oh, shit. Right, so we're going to make this number. Right, this 225 here is the alpha, so that's the transparency of it. So that always stays the same regardless of what you do. So we're gonna make it one nine one one nine fifty six one two 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 five five. Okay, right. I apologize for this by the way. This is literally the first time I'm using this website and it doesn't seem to be doing much help for us. Okay. So the models, uh if you want to add a custom model to it, because obviously this is gonna show you now um the built in ones. Add your custom models to it. You can head to your add ons. Um Say Duke Newcomb, for instance. Uh, just right click, copy to keep, uh, copy to keyboard, and it's like, voila. But we're going to show you the player models. Now, if I'm correct, um, CB has decided to put all the uh, the nice ones from Counter Strike, so on and so forth, in here. Yep, here we are. So we're going to look and we're going to find a good thief. Now, the obvious choice for a thief will be, if I can find him, because we have Counter-Strike installed, we now get our access to Counter-Strike models as well. So we're going to take the Phoenix from Counter-Strike Source, and we're going to put it into our models. Description. You're a thief, so I guess you steal stuff. 
There we are. Okay, then, now the weapons. So now these parts, um, every weapon that the, the job will have has to be put into these quotation marks. So we're going to give the thief a lockpick and a gun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to our weapons. Uh, we're going to right click, copy the keyboard, tab out, and paste. Now if you're going to make it multiple, you're going to put a comma, another quotation. And for the purpose of this, we're going to use the really horrible dark RP weapons, which they've given us. And um, we're going to give him a MP5. Copy to keyboard, copy to keyboard, and do the same in there. Chat command. So this is what you've got to type in. Because uh, you'll see people, instead of going through the uh, F4 menu, they'll just type in uh, mayor. And they become mayor. So the chat command will be thief. Max players there will be four thieves. Uh, their salary will be four uh, sixty. They do not need to be an admin. They do not need to vote. They do not get a gun license. You do not. This required job bit is for stuff like um, ranks. So say you join the police and then you want to become a police chief. You need to be the police first to be a police chief. Uh, and no, no. There we go. Continue. And here it is. Sorted. Now we'll just copy this part and paste it into here. We'll get rid of this bit because it's, it's irritating. So this will basically be your your job. So that's the job. So now we're going to save that now because we're working on a local server you'll see a little bit of lag something is creating a script error oh dear ah that's why okay seems the coding beast has messed me up a little bit and he has done given us those which we do not want Have I done it again? I have, haven't I? Oh dear. Alright, there we go. So we put our quotations on it instead. That's correct, right? Yeah, there we go. Sorted. Okay, so instead of putting the, uh, the fancy brackets, you change it to uh, quotations. I apologize for that. Okay, so now if we go to our F4 menu, da, we have a thief, and the thief comes with a lockpick and MP5. Become the job, and here we are. We now have our MP5, which you still need our insights to shoot with. And we have our lockpick. Woo. Okay, that's fantastic. But, say I want to... Um, I'm not sure. Let's see. Say so I want to add an AR2. I want spacemen to be able... I want thieves to be able to buy an AR2. So right, basically what we're going to do... Tap out. Going to go back to our Dark RP modification. So Gmod, Gary's Mod, Add-ons, Dark RP modification, Lua, Custom Things. And now we're going to go to Shipments. Now then. These shipments will do the same with the Coding Beast's nice little generator he's made. Name of the shipment will be AR2. The model, so this is going to be the actual weapon model. Where, uh, let's just become a gun dealer and show you. So, when you actually make a sh... Oh, no, I can't. Right, well, when you, become, when you make a shipment, you basically will get the the crate. Uh, I want to make money so I can show you, but that's time-consuming, and I don't have much time left. Okay, so what you'll do is you get the crate, and you'll have... This is going to be the most terrible attempt of at showing you. So, you'll get that, <laughs> and 
You'll get the gun hovering over it, like so. Yeah? Kind of like that. So, the, <laughs> the model we need is the AR2. Which, unfortunately, isn't in here. Ah... Uh, Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to find the model for this. This is going to be really, really irritating to find. Erm, um, weapons. Why did I choose to do the AR2? I'm just that stupid, aren't I? Oh, screw it. Let's just use a P90. It looks the same. Not at all. Okay, so <laughs> the model will be a P90. The entity name. That's where we uh, go to our weapons and right-click, copy the keyboard. Weapon AR2. The price of the shipment will be 200. I'll make it 150 because I'm poor. Uh, the amount of it, now you can just change this to... Um, to one if you want to make it just a singular shipment but we're gonna make 80 because we're weird like that sold separate no it's not sold separate you want to change, keep this to false because it'll uh, it'll just basically put a gun on the floor um, you can make it if you do make a separate you can make a price for each weapon oh sorry no no you can buy the separate and you, yes, yes, so you can put as true if you want to make a soul separate. So true, and it'll make a 20 for the separate price. Not a shipment, keep this to false because it'll get make a gun. Allowed, team. Now this can be done for anyone. So if you have, if you want to make it available to everyone, just leave it blank. But we want to make it available to only thieves. So team thief. And shipment model, you just keep that the same. Okay, so... Uh, there we go. Here's our another, another one which you can put into shipments. Save. Then ta 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 ta. Shipments. No, wait. I'm not. I'm not a thief. Okay, we're a thief. We can go to our shipment, and we can do an AR2 shipment. Here we go. This is what I mean. Which now has 80, and it has cost me. Um, hundred and fifty dollars. But now when we go on it it'll give us our pulse rifle. And I've made eighty of them. But yeah, this works exactly the same when it comes to weapons, um, entities, stuff like that. It's just that the the uh the script changes ever so slightly. Yeah this Luckily, we have the Coding Beasts little website to uh, help with this. So, um, yeah. This is how to install Dark Happy. It's been quite a long video. And if you have any questions, please put them in the, please put them in the comment section below. Same with if you have any ideas for future tutorials you want to see. I will see you guys on the flip side, Dude Meisters. Bye!